Another day, another Vox. AC-15, CC-1 with the old crusty input jack issue. The old dangling input jack. You've seen this before. We've all seen it before, but thankfully, it's not an insurmountable obstacle. Sort of the tale as old as time on these guys. Some chewed up threads. It's best just to replace the entire thing. Let's see if we can come up with a nice little solution. All right, so this is where we start the war. Let's get this tube shield off, the cage rather. And it looks like these old tubes have had it. A long life, huh? I do like these amps when they're healthy, but um, as you saw earlier and they've, they've clearly seen on you know, um, <clears throat> on the other guys' channels, guys who cover Voxes a little more frequently than I do, like uh, Brad's Guitar Garage, big shout out, Lyle over at Psionic. There are some things that must be overcome in order for these guys to really be trustworthy and expect it to last. So these are some old JJs that have had had their time, and that time's come and gone. Wow, these are some crispy critters. Yeah, these guys. This guy here. This guy has. <laughs> This guy has no label remaining. He's done. This guy's done. Let's get this dust off. And I can see evidence on, on the plates where a thermal runaway has been an issue. Not surprising. The silk screening is now absent. Wow, just completely vaporized. Normally, your um, your old stock tubes, the logos and labels and silk screening and all that will go bye bye once you try to remove some of the the dust from the envelope. But if you heat these up enough and for long enough, you'll get the same experience here.
This did say JJ, but it came off with my finger just by handling the tube. This guy's roasted as well. Get these guys out of here. Let's clean this guy up a little bit. What do you say? The interior of the cab has been despidered. I don't know how much of that I'm going to show. Um, although this will be uh, an anonymous video, as they all are, unless somebody explicitly states that they don't care. I want to make sure that I'm not uh, being perceived as shaming. Because uh, I'll tell you again that I like seeing amps that are used. This isn't the gear page. Again, you're, you're not supposed to be judged based upon how unused your gear looks. Check these guys out, these old birds. Pardon me. What do we have here? Made in Russia. Some old soft techs or EH tubes, 12AX7A. No other labels other than it being marked as a Russian tube. And I love Russian 12AX7s. I, I like Russian tubes in general, to be honest with you. Yeah. Well, this one's an EH for certain. And is also certainly a Russian tube. Maybe there was a time when Electroharmonics was not relabeling Russian tubes. Maybe there was a day. I'm just not aware of it. I don't know everything. I learn something new every single day, and that's part of the allure of this job. And the fact that I chose it to be my job and my profession. These are loose. I mean, it feels like someone's been in there with some WD-40. I hope that's not the case. All the... All the Grease has been washed away by whoever had serviced this last. These are incredibly loose. And I, I can't restore that firm feeling, that firm and smooth tactile feeling without actually disassembling the pots. And that is just something I'm not going to do here. That's well beyond the scope of this service. And that's something that I only do in uh, special instances on certain vintage amps when time permits. This is the, the before, obviously. We will work on the after. I just rather work on clean gear with a clean space. When things get too dirty or cluttered, then, then my ADHD and whatever other afflictions I may have in my mind really start to get the better of me. It becomes overwhelming, so I must have a clean workspace. It's just all I can do. So, all right, this looks a lot better. That looks a lot better. We're going to let her dry off before we put her back on, obviously. So, let's get the chassis set up and see what we're dealing with, aside from that wonky input jack. Alrighty, here we are. Stereo jack. But that's none of our concern, is it? It's not. It's not at all. Why? It's a high quality jack, first of all, it's sealed. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect alignment. Perfect alignment there. Let's get her installed. Come on, ladies, stabilize. I don't know if I can get this shot to work out. We'll give it a whirl, won't we? You bet. All right. All right.
There she is. I'm going to clean up those solder pads and prep the other jack. And we will be in business. Here's that other jack prepped with the switching element removed. I'm going to file these little points down so it sits flush. Sexual. And look who's protected from dust. All right, so noticing a lot of, um, a lot of noise there intermittently, especially when it was fully cranked up with a lot of high end. And I found that by rearranging some of the, the leads here, I was able to eliminate that. So incredibly happy. Just a quick demo.
fingers and everything. Very low noise floor. Lovely crunch. The old Vox thing. It does the Vox thing. Incredibly loud. Rattling all my tools back there, all the spare parts. So hope you enjoyed little service updates. You guys out there, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification. It helps the channel out tremendously. And share it with your friends if you dig what I do. Even if you don't, say, hey, this dude sucks. Have a look. Hope this finds you all well out there. Bye.